Everyone, we just got the last brand new Halloween skin in Zuba, and his name is Haunted Phil. Check this out. Phil is now a ghost, and he's green, and he looks absolutely amazing. Let's get a better look at him here in the skins tab, and there he is looking amazing. That's his third skin yet, and he looks absolutely awesome. You see, he's got some shackles and everything, and he's now basically a phantom or a ghost, whichever you want to call him, and he looks absolutely terrifying. Now, this is the type of skin that I would expect to have some sort of animation. When some skin has some sort of energy to him, such as fire, of electricity, of earth, you know what I'm saying? They usually have some of that into their attacks or active abilities or something like that. So I am expecting this skin to actually have some different animations, you know? Just like the Frank Tulu skin, which is also really cool. And speaking of Frank Tulu, and yes, here we have him. Uh, Frank Tulu has this new event here from which you can actually get him. And we just got an emerald toolbox right here, basically. So let's claim it and see what we get. Maybe it's an item for Phil. I hope that's the case guys smash like so that you're luckier in getting Frank Tulu here and the Emerald Toolbox as well because they're both really really cool now we didn't get Frank Tulu uh, unfortunately because we already have them so there's no real reason to do that because I'm pretty sure we're only gonna get coins from that and I don't think that's the best so let's collect this here and we have coins and there you go Vampire Teeth upgraded and Toolkit as well and we just got a Primal Instinct guys check it out and it is for Faye. It's called Painted. And we're not playing Faye today. So it's not that crazy. Faye is not the best character ever. But still pretty nice indeed. So now let's take a look here at the banner as well. Because if you guys didn't know. If you claim all of the Halloween skins. Uh, wh why doesn't the banner work? Wh why isn't that the case? You know what? Let's just upgrade them first. And then we'll see. So here's the thing. Okay, this skin right here, you can only get it from the store, and if you have all of them, you'll get a legendary black crate a few days after the event ends, which is really, really awesome. So, we have the Halloween Nyx. Oh, weapon points. We didn't get weapon points already. That's crazy. So, as I was saying, you get all the skins, and then you get an, a legendary black crate there at the end, which is absolutely amazing. You gotta subscribe for that. So, you have the ghost. It's, it's not a ghost. Get, it's the Halloween Nyx skin, all right? The werewolf. Okay, and you also have the Haunted Philip, you have the Frank Tulu, and the Lord Jack, you know, so if you have all those amazing skins, by the way, because they're really, really nice, all of them are, uh, you'll get the crate, which is sick. Now, let's open this as well, and there you go! We finally have a brand new item slot, and you know we're gonna do this, right? Vampire Teeth. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. We're gonna become like Jackula, you know, with the Vampire Teeth, because Jackula already has the Vampire Teeth. Theoretically, technically not so much. Okay, let's claim this weapon point as well. And what are we missing here? What's wrong? Oh, actually nothing. We've claimed everything so far. Let's claim, let's, uh, claim this as well. There you go, he's level 7. And now that should get us this beauty right here. Weapon damage, 30% more. That is extremely powerful because you know how Phil is already insanely overpowered. That is going to make him even better. So all these upgrades are, are just crazy. They're really good, and we just need a few more tokens so we can upgrade them to level 8 as well, which is so cool. Really, really cool. Now let's grab the emote as well. Should we actually use it though? Because why would we need to retreat? I mean, it looks really nice, but why would we need that? Because we're really, really powerful and stuff. You know what? Let's use uh, let's use this one for Edna. Let's go for this one here for Finn and uh, the content creator emote just because it's really, really nice. And now let's spend some of our weapon points on some radius, cooldown reduction, shotgun here with the cooldown uh, reduction again. So there he is looking absolutely awesome. And also, let's put the items, item uh, as well. You got the vampire teeth. Guys, if you, if you just so happen to have this skin and you got it from the shop for 20 bucks, I believe, you guys have to join the Discord server, right? So we can play a full team of the Haunted Phil skin because he's amazing. So let's go into some solo light action in the Volcano Park and see how he does. Okay, here we are, and he looks great. He's got... Does he have a glow effect to him? Nah, I don't think he has a glow effect to him. That's for sure. I mean, he looks like he would glow, but he doesn't uh, look that way. Okay, now let's use the active here and... Do you guys see anything different about that? Normally, he does have the purple effect right there where the beak is supposed to be. Let's just see that again. And I personally don't see anything with this skin. That is really weird. I was actually expecting for them to actually add some sort of green effect to this. That would have made a lot of sense, but that is kind of sad. There's so many bows as well. Why are there so many of them? All right, let's continue here. Defeat the Knicks as well. And there you go. So now, it's just... It doesn't really make sense why it wouldn't have animations. But you know what? Still, really, really awesome skin. You also have the Philosopher, which completely changes his look, as uh, you and me both know, you know. It changes completely 
how uh, he looks. He turns from just a regular owl to kind of a stone owl, and this time he turns completely into a ghost. So it is uh, really, really nice indeed. Now let's claim this as well. And I normally would have used the active, but we can't at the moment. Let's also get this. There you go. Use it. And now let's go here and see what happens. Anything around here. Anyone. Usually there's someone in the middle, but not really. But you know what uh, we could see? Players hanging around on the outskirts of the map you know you see the outskirts with all the bushes and kind of the safe spots that's where i find a lot of players who kind of like to hide around and not really fight too much i see players there and it's one great way to pick up some extra kills if you haven't already so let's grab this this bow that actually did us justice there you go that's nice that's one very good way of using the active we haven't played phil in a long time just because they haven't really add any they haven't really added anything to him but now now that the skin is here, he's looking amazing! So let's defeat the buck as well, and that should be our win, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very cool. We got the 8 kills. The animation remains the same, pretty much. Still turns his head really creepily for some reason, but still looking good. And if we would have played the elephant tonight, we would have gone 45 points for that. 825 points is a lot of points, but... The Frank Tulu is, in my opinion, the best skin for Halloween. You guys comment down below which is your favorite Halloween skin because I want to know what you guys think about the matter. So let's uh, let's continue here. What are we going to do? Let's go change some items and see what happens here. We're going to check him out on the Halloween map as well and see how he holds up there. So let's go for a Volatile Bomb and Cluster Bomb because that should be absolutely crazy in game. So there you have him. And now we got either Zuril or Central Zoo. Let's just go for duos in the Central Zoo just because we can check out the map as well. Let's do this! Okay, here we are. And look at this. Absolutely beautiful. And we got a buck here on our side. Not too shabby. And look, he looks so nice on the map. It's just one issue. He isn't glowing, guys. I'll give this skin a solid... 7.5 out of 10 just because I would have expected some animations and stuff, but they don't actually happen Unfortunately, you guys comment down below your rating of the skin as well if you personally like it You know for me of course 7 out of 10 7.5 out of 10 actually bonus points and uh, you guys tell me what you think now Let's grab this here. There you go. Also get this and that just looks terrifying Look at the red eyes and I was screaming upward like this screaming in public restrooms. Oh This is it's it's kind of it's kind of uncanny at this point, right? If, if it just had the red eyes and it would be looking forward, then okay, fair enough. But they made that kind of eerie. And that's the point. Now, let's continue here. You have this skull creature, I guess. And can we really interact with these things? There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look, guys, if you do this, ghosts will come out of that. Did you know that? You probably didn't. Well, now you know. That's pretty cool. Because who decides to just randomly punch things? Well, we do, I guess. So, there you go. You can interact with that as well. I haven't really looked into this aspect of the game. But, okay, that's easy to tell that you can actually I, that you can actually do something with that, you know? Because it's a big, large, uh, living tentacle in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, that makes sense. But now, let's check out these as well. See if there's anything we can do with... Whoa! A full squad here of two players. And that was terrible, by the way. Don't do what we just did. But do this instead. That's nice. Okay, goodbye. There you go. And the weapons are ours. I mean, the buff can't really pick them up all too easily. We should have gotten some of those uh, team-based uh, items right there, but we didn't. And I don't think these are going to do anything against the tentacles. No, nope, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Now, let's continue here. Let's go in the big house. The haunted house, basically. And is that going to do something? No. <laughs> you can see the inside of the tentacles. That's... That's gross. Are there bones in there? I highly doubt it. I haven't. I've never seen bones inside of well tentacles. Actually, tentacles that you know live and stuff and move. So it's kind of terrifying right there. If it would have had bones, but I don't think it does. Now let's claim this is well the barrel. You got to do it. And now <laughs> there's peanuts on the ground, guys. There's peanuts on the ground. Did you see them? Look at them. It's the emote. It's a reference to that emote with the peanuts. Wonderful. And there's a lot of them. A ton of peanuts on the map. Can somebody explain why there's uh, why there's so many peanuts? Someone, please, in the comments. Just come on, do something. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll never know. They did release something with the peanuts, though. They 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 got the they got the emo, you know, with the peanuts, and it was really really cool. Now let's claim this here and stop questioning random things. Let's go. Come on, Buck. We got this. If we use the active, we can. Uh, there you go. We can give him some speed. That should do something for a little bit, but not too long. Okay, more speed for you, buddy. And what are you doing? Uh, that evil eye is just terrifying. I swear, it's crazy. All right, let's claim this here. Let's claim our victory. There you go. 
Where are you running? And gotcha. Nice one. I thought that was kind of like the Shelly active where she just goes into, you know, shell mode and cannot be hurt. But it's not the same thing. I don't know why, but we almost, I almost just didn't want to actually hurt that pepper because I thought that nothing would happen. But I guess I'm just hallucinating or something. I guess I'm just tripping. You know, it is Halloween. Stuff could happen. You see ghosts all the time everywhere, right? All right, let's see. Continue here. Piggy bank! I accidentally clicked on the piggy bank! Anything in the daily deals? All right, we got this stuff. We got a Kaylee. We got a, a, a bit of Kaylee action. That's kind of cool as well. So there you go. We also have some crates here. Should we just open them? You know what? Let's just open them. Just because why not? See what we get. This could be filled, guys. This could very well be filled. And let this be filled. It's not filled this time. Let it be this time. It's not. Come on! Let's get it this time though. Fill! Please show up! We need more fill upgrading because that skin is just so, so cool at the end of the day. It is a 7.5 out of 10. There's better, but he looks absolutely great nonetheless. So fine, we're not getting any fill tokens. Imagine getting them out of the free crates. And you can't even re-roll them, and for good reason. Why would you? <laughs> These are terrible. Right, guys. Smash like, subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Happy Halloween, because we're getting very close to Halloween as well. Because at the time I'm recording this, it is like two days. Two days into Halloween. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.